Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about converting comma separated values into rows in SQL Server. Uh, I have already created a video which you guys have liked it in which we converted multiple rows into comma separated values. Uh, but this is the vice versa, which we want to do. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how to do the reverse of that. So in case we have certain values where uh, that's a comma separated or we want to delimit with the help of let's say a space or empty space or anything so we could do that with the help of a function which is in built in sql server so uh, friends we are going to talk about that function and we'll also practically see how we do that but before uh, we continue with that, I would highly encourage you to please subscribe to my channel. Uh, my link, channel link is already available on the screen. Uh, my LinkedIn profile is also there. So do subscribe it and press the bell icon. Uh, moving on to the function, uh, there is a string split function that's actually used. Uh, it's an inbuilt table valued function. So string split is a table valued function. It means it would return a table value and primarily it returns a column named value, right? And we'll see that in the actual action once we do the practical stuff. Uh, it takes normally two arguments. Uh, one argument is the first is the actual comma separated values or let's say the space separated values in the form of a string. We can pass it directly. And second argument is actually uh, the argument through which we are going uh, to delimit the actual string. So it means if we want to uh, parse the uh, or delimit the uh, string onto the basis of uh, space or onto the basis of comma or semicolons or whatever, we could use that. So stay tuned and we are going to actually practically see how we could use the string split function. So let's see friends how we can use the string split function in action. Uh, if we just want to use a string split, I can just simply say select star from string uh, split function. And then the first argument is technically the text which you want to pass on. So let's say uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is an example of a string split function. So this is the first argument where I'm passing a string without any kind of uh, comma or other uh, delimiter rather I'm just you going to use the delimiter of empty space because we have spaces within the words and the second argument is the actual space which I'll pass on in case uh, I want to delimit on that so if I just want to run this query and see that so you could see uh, this is actually showing us all the words which have been separated and they have been converted into uh, uh, individual rows and the first argument is technically the string which you pass the second argument is the delimiter which you pass and it's a table valued function the column name which it returns is value of course you could change it as with the help of a lice name now let's say if we want to use this function on a table where we have a comma separated values uh, i have a test table uh, let me show you uh, if i run this so within the test table, I have two columns. One is ID and one is project IDs. So ID is one and the project IDs linked with that is P01, P02, P03. And similarly, I have a second row two, which is P04, P05 and P06. In this case, we have certain values based upon the comma separation rather than the space. So we'll be using this delimiter to actually convert these values into rows. Now, how could we do that? So we'll use exactly the same thing. So I'm just going to use, let's say I just give an X as a alias name. I want to use an ID over here. And then Y is actually the string split function, which would return me. And I'll use that column name that is value, which is returned by string split function. And let's say I can give a alias name, my column. And uh, from test table, uh, which is my table from where I'm actually doing that and I'm specifying a last name X because I've specified X dot ID anything and then I need to cross apply with string split function 
and cross apply is nothing but a kind of an inner join you could technically use so it would return all the rows which are matching with the one id and the second id so uh, from two different tables so i'm going to use string split and then i'm gonna use project ids which is my column name and then i'm going to use the comma separation which is like the delimiter as the actually to be used to convert it into uh, rows and then because i'm specifying y dot value so it means i'm specifying y as an alias name for this particular string split uh, uh, a function or a table valued function as another alias name for that table valued function so now if we just go through that select x id so we want to select the id we want to select the value because we want those values into individual one and those values are going to come from the string split function as my column from table uh, test table x and then I'm going to join it with the help of cross apply string split and x dot project IDs because this is the one which I want to convert and then the string delimiter is uh, comma. So if I run this query so you would see all those values they have been converted into the actual rows and now you would see p01 p02 p03 they are being matched with the help of id because that's where the actual stuff would match because it would convert it into three rows so all those ids are matched by default so that's how uh, the actual values in the form of our commas can be converted into multiple rows um, we could use this function not only with commas but with spaces with semicolons or any other delimiter which you want to use uh, this is exactly the reverse of uh, the another video which i created that is how to convert multiple rows into a single comma separated values so i'll post that uh, link to that video uh, in the description so that in case you want to watch that video it would be helpful to you so i hope guys this video is uh, going to help you in doing or converting data into multiple formats because as a database developer or analyst you are required to convert the data formats into multiple ways when you do your daily job uh, i'll be back with another video so please stay tuned once again if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe to this channel and thank you a lot uh, goodbye see you soon again thank you